Welcome to Company of Heroes. Company of Heroes is a real-time strategy game that focuses on frontline combat, capturing key strategic points and leading your company to victory. Welcome to basic training. This training exercise will cover unit selection, camera control, and basic orders. During the game, you will receive objectives to complete. Here's an example. You can see your objectives listed on the left side of the screen. Moving your mouse cursor over the objective icon. Try this next. Good. If the objective is off screen, an arrow will point to it. For training purposes, the description and direction arrow will remain on screen. Good. Now, we will cover how to select the rifleman squad, the basic infantry unit. Note the rifleman icon and the in company of a squad needs left click on the right. Check your ammo, clear your sights. Good. You can see they're selected by all selected squads are shown on the selection panel. You can access the squad's ability. The mini-map is shown on the... To get more information about anything on the... Here's an engineer squad. You can select several squads at the same time by holding the... Excellent. You can see both squads in the selection panel of the taskbar. You can cycle through each squad in your selection by pressing tab or go directly to a squad by left-clicking... Good. You can now give orders to this individual squad. Left click on the groups. Good. Our engineers are being deployed elsewhere. We will now cover unit movement. All basic orders in the Company of Heroes are issued you to issue a move order to your good. In order to move units outside the immediate, moving your mouse cursor to the edge of good. Now follow the objective arrow and pan the camera until you see the road enters. Excellent. Now. Good. Let's go. Move it. Watch your spacing. Rip them and brush that. Good. Now you get the basic idea. Left click to select units. Right click to issue ba In Company of Heroes, you can rotate. To do this, hold down the Alt key. That's it. To return the camera to its default position, press the backspace key twice. Excellent. You can also zoom in and z Fantastic. Again, Company of Heroes is best. Issue a move or Notice that as your squad moves, they reveal more of the surrounding landscape. This is the fog of war. Your units can only see what is immediately around them. Yep, let's move. Well done. Your squad is in position. An event queue has appeared on the left of the screen to let you click on the event queue. An Axis Patrol is moving in and trying to capture... Notice that enemy units are shown in... Right-click on the enemy troops to attack them. Notice your mouse changes to an attack cursor as you mouse over the enemy squads. Enemy unit down. Good job. Now, let's get that. Right click on the str Notice your mouse changes to a capture cursor when you mouse over a strategic point. Objective Excellent. This concludes basic training. You've earned your stripes. You have learned how to select units, move the camera, and how to use the right mouse button to issue basic commands. Click continue to return to base. Welcome to infantry combat training. We'll be commanding an airborne infantry squad and learning how to use cover, flank the enemy, and use abilities. So far, we've issued commands with the right mouse button. 
However, using abilities from the taskbar is done with the left mouse button. Left click on the flashing button, then left click on the indic- Your squad is parachuting in now. In company of heroes, using abilities is always done with the left mouse button. These guys are airborne infantry, elite paratroopers that can be airdropped anywhere on the battlefield. Paratroopers on point. The red shield displayed next to the squad's icon indicates the squad is ex exposed squads. Select airborne. right. The yellow dots on the ground show areas of light cover. Light cover offers limited protection from enemy fire. Good. The yellow shield icon over your squad shows they are in light cover. Let's move again. Right click near the stone wall to move. Come on, we're moving. The green dots represent areas of heavy cover. Good. As you can see, the shield is now green. Time to move into enemy territory. Let's use the attack move ability. Remember, targeted abilities like attack move are confirmed with a left click. Left click on the attack move button in the, the squads back? using attack move will automatically attack the enemy and then continue to their destination. Enemy sighted. Enemy patrol destroyed. Mortars! Incoming! A Krout mortar team has been spotted near the chapel. Go, go, go! Attack! As you've seen, your squads will automatically use cover when attacking. Help us! Help you! Good work. Notice your squad was promoted to veteran status. There are three ranks of veterancy in Company of Heroes. All units gain veterancy the longer they are in combat, making them more effective on the battlefield. Recon shows the enemy has set up a heavy machine gun team to cover the road. We need to take it out. Attack the heavy machine gun team by right-clicking on it. The squad is taking m fire from that MG. This is the MG's arc of fire. We need to stay out of this area. Order your... Excellent. Let's throw a grenade to destroy the... Using abilities like grenades costs resources. The machine gun team is out of action. Now, let's take over that MG. Time for a little payback. Capture. Excellent. You now control two squads. Now, let's redeploy the heavy machine gun to cover the road. Select your heavy. Hold down the right mouse button over the MG team. You have deselected your squad. Left click on your heavy machine gun team to select it. Hold down. Weapons and ammo! Airborne you can issue here. a set facing command to all squads and vehicles in Company of Heroes. Incoming enemy patrol. Notice that your squads automatically attack nearby enemies. Enemy no! unit down. Infantry reserves en route. Reinforcement proceeding. Enemy patrol destroyed. He is shot. Get a medic. More paratroopers are inbound to our position. Before our final objective, we need to capture the nearby strategic point. Select the new paratrooper squad. Airborne right click center. on the nearby strategic point Airborne to cap. Out. You have deselected your squad. Let right click on the nearby strategic point to capture it. Point taken. All no right. sign of Good. Going. This sector is now under our control. Time to upgrade your squad. Upgrade your paratroopers by recoilless rifles are heavy anti-tank weapons that are effective against vehicles and structures. Listen up, airborne. Yes, sir. Listen up, Paris. Let's move. Okay, airborne. Mind your space. Eyes open. Let's go. Move it, airborne. Excellent. 
Notice the upgrade icon above the health bar on the... Time to attack the enemy and clear out the area. Order your squads to destroy the enemy machine gun team defending this farm using what you've learned so far. Remember, use cover and grenades. Good luck. During infantry training, you learned how to use cover, flank enemy positions, upgrade your squads, and use targeted abilities like grenades. Infantry training complete. Welcome to base operations training. During this exercise, we will cover base construction, how to capture territory, and how to build defenses. Our headquarters is located in this farmhouse. The HQ is your most crucial structure. With it, you call in reinforcements and off-map support. First, let's deploy an engineer squad. To do this requires, as you can see on your taskbar, you have no resources. For training purposes, we'll give you enough resources to get started. But normally, you earn resources by capturing territory sectors. There are three types of manpower. To deploy an engineer squad, left click on the flat. Engineers are your basic construction squad. They can build the Your engineers are ready for duty. Let's first, to build a barracks. Left click the flashing button and then left click at the indicated location to order. Okay, Base structures can only be built near the HQ and on open ground. If the build preview turns red, you cannot build at that location. Yeah. Barracks is up. Good. The barracks allows you to deploy basic in select your barracks. Now, again. Notice that you have spent manpower to deploy the Rifleman Squad. The Rifleman Squad is now displayed in the build queue. You can cancel any item in the queue by left-clicking on it. Rally points can be set by using the Rally Point icon. And then, newly deployed squads will automatically move to that location. You've spent all of your resources. We'll now show... Remember, let's start. A cons... The first... The second number shows how much manpower you are earning per minute. Munitions is the second resource. A constant fuel is the a constant. The mini map shows the location. To get a more detailed view of the battle, this is the tactical map. Move right out. click on the munitions point to capture it. You have deselected your squad. Left click on your rifleman squad to select it. Ammo dump secured. Rifleman right, squad. good. Front you've secured. captured, as you can see. However, bring up the tactical map. The munitions sector you've just captured is here. Sometimes the enemy will be defending strategic points. Eliminate the enemy, then capture the strategic point. Sometimes the enemy will be defending strategic. You have deselected your squad. Capture the str you have deselected. Capture the strategic point. Excellent. Strategic. The munition sector is now in supply and generating a constant stream of re the resources a sector generates is now. We need to secure. Now click on the flashing. F left click on the op. They said the army would be an easy paycheck. Damn assholes. We're ready to move in, just give the order. Construction now that the done. observation post is complete, the sector is secure. No, more importantly, the enemy will need to destroy This area is crawling with German. Select your engineer squad. Fall up, Click man. on the flash. 
left click on the MG and finally set the facing of the MG emplacement to cover the northern hammers and nails ladies hammers and nails engineers eyes and ears come on reporting construction Excellent. complete get a move on enemy incoming the MG emplacement will automatically engage fantastic MG emplacement is suppressing the enemy troops. They're retreating. However, the Germans know we're here now, and they'll be back with more troops. We need to fortify our position. In company of heroes, select your engine. Order the engineers to garrison the nearby building by right-clicking. Good. Buildings can... Left-click. Only buildings and supplied sectors can be upgraded into a forward barracks. Now you can deploy infantry squads from this building. Now deploy a rifle. rifle Excellent. Squad deployed. Select, Take use the rifleman squad to capture the indicated strategic point. Oh, we'll right. You have deselected your squad. Left click on your rifleman squad to select it. Listen Use up, the right rifleman squad. squad to capture the indicated strategic Await point. Order, oh, we'll take it, all right. We've got the point. Move it. Watch your spacing. Flashing yellow indicators above your squad shows that they are being suppressed. While suppressed, your squads will dive to the ground and crawl to avoid being hit. The flashing red indicator shows your squad is now pinned. Pinned units are ineffective and will take heavy casualties unless you retreat. Retreat will break any suppression or pinning effects on your squads and give them a defensive bonus. Your squad is safe now, but they took some Select your rifle. Click the flashing button to reinforce your squad back up to full. Squads can only reinforce if they are near a base structure, a forward barracks, or a half track. Notice you have earned experience. You Once you've... You can... To do this, let... There are three companies you can... For train... Click on the infantry company icon to... Here are the special abilities. The defensive operations ability. Click on the defensive operations button. Then, click the Accept button to confirm your choice and exit the company. The Germans will be counterattacking. We need to defend this. Select your rifleman squad. Left click. Left click at the indicator. Now drag the mouse to the final location. Good. Your riflemen are now building the wall section by section. Sandbags provide heavy cover. You can move infantry behind this wall to give them cover against incoming fire.
section is clear. Well done. During training, we covered how to establish your base, call in additional troops, capture territory, defend your front lines, and use company commander abilities to defeat the enemy. This completes base operations. Rifle squad deployed. Welcome to armor training. We've just got word that a convoy from Baker Company has come under attack north of our current position. Select your Sherman tank. Use your Sherman tank to move to the ambush site. Order your Sherman to attack the Panzer by right-clicking on it. Engaging enemy armor! That... Fireman cannon! Good. You've scored a hit to its rear armor. Sherman on the attack. Sherman on the attack. Out. Fire me, cannon. We gotta go. Take You've been hit. Get those fucking bolts rolling. Armor rolling. Just drive. Acknowledged. Fire on it. Fire on it. Let's look at the damage. That shot from the Panzer scored a critical hit and has immobilized your tank. Notice the unit information display on the taskbar shows the Sherman tank has suffered from a critical hit to its engine. Your tanks can be repaired in the field with the help of the engineer squads. Repairing a vehicle will remove any critical hits it has received. Select your engineer squad. Order your engine. You have deselect order. You have deselect order. You have deselect order your engineers to repair the Sherman by right clicking on it. You have deselected your squad. Left click on your engineer squad to select it. Order. Excellent. The repairs are complete. There are enemy patrols in this area. To increase the Sherman's effectiveness, click on the... Understood. Sherman out. Sergeant, Excellent. get an MG on the Notice roof of this the gunner on the turret to shred the some MG. crowds. Recon tank traps are blocking the road. Your Sherman cannot move through the tank traps. Axis infantry spotted. Targeting the Sherman's rear armor. Hold down the right mouse button on the Sherman and drag the mouse in the direction of the enemy. Excellent. Now the Sherman's strongest armor is facing the enemy. Panzer Shrek's destroyed. We need to continue moving toward the Axis base. Those tank traps are blocking our path. We'll call crocodiles are armed with flamethrowers. 
Select your crocodile tank. Cam ready to get Upgrade your cro- Understood. Sherman out. Roll in. Rev her up. Advance. Excellent. You can now active- Now clear the tank. Excellent. Your tank moves slower while the bulldozer is lowered. You can raise it by left-clicking on the bulldozer button in the command panel. Our enemy unit. Now let's take out that German base. Use both your Sherman and the Crocodile. Flamethrowers are effective at burning infantry squads out of buildings. facing and using tanks to crush up. Welcome, sir, to 3rd Battalion, Bodica's Boys, 2nd British Army. During this training exercise, you'll familiarize yourself with the British Army of opposing fronts and its command structure. We will cover infantry deployment, lieutenants, mobile command trucks, and defensive emplacements. 3rd Battalion has just moved into the area. We need to move out and capture additional territory. This is an infantry section, the basic infantry squad of the British Army. Left click on your infantry set. Now, notice how your squad moves. While moving in friendly territory, all British squads move using their assault stance. The infantry section is now entering neutral territory. Notice the change in stance. When moving in neutral or enemy territory, all squads adopt a patrolling Let's help them out by deploying a lieutenant. Left click on your command truck. Left click on... Lieutenants are the basic officers of the British. They are critical to the success of your army. Just point us at Jerry. Moving out. Be there in two shakes. Let's take that point before Jerry knows what hit him. Go ahead and send. Excellent. Your lieutenant is ready. Select your... Move your... Whenever a lieutenant is near infantry, his presence provides discipline to all nearby soldiers. Point noted. On the way. On your feet, gents. Outfits ready for action. Group ready, sir. Good. The star over your infantry shows that a lieutenant is nearby. This grants them combat and veterancy bonuses, so it, since the lieutenant is so critical to the success of your infantry, it is important for him to maintain command range. Left click. You have deselected your squad. Left click on your left click on the flash. Now left click on the indicate. Good. Notice the symbol above the lieutenant, indicating that he is now following the infantry section. Send your message. Now let's order. Notice that your infantry are moving much more quickly with the lieutenant nearby. Watch out! Incoming enemies. Work. Enemy patrol defeated. Your infantry might have had a tough fight. Good thing the lieutenant was there to keep them in line. Proceed with capturing the sector. Standing by. Look, sir. Proceed with capturing the sector. Good. This sector is now under your control. Even though we have captured the munitions point, it is not secure. Unsecured points provide less resources. Let's secure that munitions point now. 
The British secure territory sectors differently than other armies. They use their mobile command trucks. Command trucks are the backbone of the British Army because they can be deployed anywhere on the battlefield. They allow the British to call in reinforcements where they are needed. More importantly, once deployed, com select your command truck. Deploy this command truck to the munitions sector that you just captured. Left click on the flashing button to mo- Good. Command truck is mobile. Look at the minimap. All your territory is flashing. Whenever your headquarters command truck is mobile, your controlled territory will not be in supply. Sectors that are not in supply do not generate resources. Order your... There are many reasons to move your command truck. It grants resource bonuses to the sectors it occupies. It can deploy units closer to the front line or relocate if the enemy is attacking. The command truck is quite vulnerable while moving, so guard it carefully. Alright chaps, fire her up. Let's get going lads. Now that the HQ is within the munition sector, we'll need to deploy it to secure the territory. Left click, left click on the indicated position within the sector to order your command truck to begin setting up there. Establish a command headquarters here, gents. Ready to roll. Excellent. You have successfully deployed your command truck. Notice that the territory has stopped flashing. Your territory is now back in supply. Your munitions resource rate has improved dramatically as well. To build a machine gun, click on the flashing left click. Position the emplacement by left click. Finally, set the facing of the MG in place. Okay, stop standing around. We don't have all day. Think anyone would mind if we took that? All set. Go ahead. Excellent. British infantry can also build structures like mortar pits or casualty clearing stations. The enemy has discovered our location. Stand to. An MG emplacement is an excellent defense against attacking infantry. Enemy infantry neutralized. NCOs reporting they have destroyed a German target. To provide additional protection for our troops, let's build a slit trench. Left click on your infantry section to select it. Click on the flashing Left click on the indicated location to place the slit trench there. Set the facing of the slit trench. Unique to the British, slit trenches are defensive structures that infantry can garrison for additional protection from enemy fire. Go ahead, sir. Understood. I won't let you down, sir. Come and Good. Your Notice that it is unoccupied after construction is complete. An unoccupied slit trench can be garrisoned by anyone, even the enemy. Section ready. Get in there. The German target has been destroyed. Down. Incoming mortar. That mortar is wreaking havoc on our infantry. Order your infantry to... Good job. Trenches provide extra protection against artillery. Let's take out that mortar. Our ground forces are unable to attack that mortar. We'll need to use a company commander ability from the Royal Commandos to attack it. You have been granted access to glider-born commandos. Gliders are excellent for attacking positions behind the enemy's front line. To request a glider, left, now left click on the indicated position, left click again to top. Target has been knocked out. Commandos reporting for duty. Order your commandos to take out that mortar. Remember your tactical training. Target 
Now you know about some of the unique aspects of the British. You learned about the lieutenants and infantry, command trucks, and how to build emplacements. This concludes this training exercise, sir. Third battalion awaits. Welcome to training. Kampfkorpelier is standing by. During this exercise, you will learn about the unique aspects of the Panzer Elite and their arsenal of vehicles. You learn how to attack from half-tracks, to capture and secure territory with vehicles, to resupply with the munitions half-track, and to lock down vehicles. Kampfkorpelier has heard reports of enemy infantry in the area. We need to scout their position. First, Panzergrenadiers are the backbone of any Panzer Elite army. They are versatile and able to respond to any enemy threats. They also provide basic logistical support through building base structures and repairing damaged vehicles. Garrison that half-track. We need to move out. Right-click the half-track to order your Panzer Grenadiers to get inside. Ready. Good. Notice that your Panzer Grenadiers have taken up positions in the back. Panzer Elite Infantry garrisoned in open-top vehicles can shoot out the back with any equipped weapons. Half-track and Panzer Grenadiers are ready for action. Enemy infantry spotted. Move out and attack them. The Panzer Grenadiers are not only transported with a vehicle, but they add additional firepower to the Half-Track's own machine gun. Enemy infantry defeated. Look out! Counter-attack! Too much damage. We need more firepower. Get a grenade on that infantry. Additional reinforce. Left click, target the infantry. And left, Panzer Grenadiers use incendiary grenades. These grenades don't do much initial damage, but entrenched squads will burn if they stay put. We have eliminated the enemy. Enemy infantry neutralized. Recon reports an enemy infantry squad occupying a nearby slit trench. Let's take them out. This is a mortar half-track. His mobile artillery vehicle is quite effective at dealing with entrenched infantry. Select your mortar. Order the mortar half-track to fire an incendiary barrage at the enemy infantry squad. Good. Now left-click on the enemy squad to... Excellent. Bombardment underway. Excellent. Bombardment underway. You'll notice your barrage was only marginally effective. Several more barrages are needed to fully defeat the enemy squad. Look at the incendiary barrage button. The ability has a long recharge time, preventing you from issuing additional barrages. Let's call in resupply support, the munitions half-track. This vehicle resupplies nearby units by greatly reducing the recharge time of their abilities. Select your munitions half-track. Order the munitions half-track to move close. Moving out. Good. The munitions half-track is within resupply range. This is indicated by the symbol above the mortar half-track. Select your mortar half-track. Notice the incendiary mortar ability. It is fully charged. Order the half-track to barrage the infantry with incendiary rounds again. Notice the incendiary mortar ability recharges faster if the munitions half-track is nearby. Continue to barrage the enemy squad until they are defeated. Continue to barrage the enemy squad until they are defeated. Continue to barrage the enemy squad until they are defeated.
Continue to barrage the enemy squad until they are defeated. Excellent job. Infantry neutralized. For our next objective, let's capture and secure territory. This is a scout car, a Panzer Elite vehicle that can capture strategic points. Select your scout car. Order the scout car to cap. The scout car is an excellent recon vehicle. Armed with an MG42 light machine gun, it is excellent for defeating lightly equipped infantry squads. Good job. The sector is now in our control. To secure this sector, you'll need to upgrade your scout car first. Left-click on the flashing button to equip this vehicle with logistic support. With this logistic support upgrade, the scout car is able to secure territory. Good. The radio antenna now attached to the roof of your scout car indicates that it has been upgraded to a logistic. Left click on the flashing button to secure this sector. Understood. Good job. The territory is now secure. Notice that a scout car secured territory is immobile. To mobilize the scout car, left click on the secure sector button again. However, the territory will no longer be secured. Now that the territory is captured and secure, we need to bring in some heavier weapons to protect the scout car. This is a Panzer 4F infantry support tank, affectionately referred to as the Stubby for its short cannon. Select your order the Panzer to move to the move out. Excellent, Panzer is in position. Achtung, incoming enemy! Notice the Panzer's slow rate of fire. You can increase its rate of fire by using its rapid fire ability. Left click on the flashing rapid fire button to lock the Panzer down. Ready to adjust the and start stacking shells. Red carrier destroyed. Good job. The Panzer is able to fire more quickly. However, it is now locked down and cannot move. Many vehicles in the Panzer Elite have the ability to lock down. However, the benefits differ from vehicle to vehicle. As a Panzer Elite Commander, knowing when to sacrifice mobility for firepower is crucial for victory. Enemy, Enemy unit has fallen to our right. Excellent. Notice your Panzer was promoted to a veteran status. In the command panel, there are two veterancy buttons. When Panzer Elite squads and vehicles gain veterancy, this unlocks two special skills, allowing you to customize the combat effectiveness of the unit. The first ability boosts the unit's offensive power, the second its defensive power. With each rank of veterancy, you can choose which ability to apply to the unit. Left click on one of the flashes. Good. Your Panzer has been granted an offensive veterancy bonus. Infantry neutralized. Excellent job. Infantry neutralized. Intel reports approaching tanks. The Panzer 4F's gun is no match for the heavy British armor. Time to call in the Luftwaffe company commander. You have been granted access to the Henschel strafing run. Now left click to target the indicated position. With this ability, Henschel aircraft will fly by the target location, targeting all enemies within their flight path. Left click on the flashing Henschel strafing ability. Our brave punts 
sir. Besides the Luftwaffe, they specialize in scorched earth and tank destroyer tactics. Now you know about some of the unique aspects to the Panzer Elite. You learned about the three types of half-tracks, infantry and vehicle combat, vehicle capturing and securing, and finally veterancy and lockdown. Excellent work. Panzer Elite training complete. Dismissed.